welcome to this episode of Showcase Wedding. I am your host, Rebecca Martel. Here in Toronto, Ontario, I want to introduce you to many other local business owners. They want to be a part of your special day. I now have the pleasure of introducing you to Brendan. He's the operation manager of the beautiful Killarney Mountain Lodge. So thank you so much for being here in studio with me. Thank you for the long drive to get out here. Well, thank you for having me today. Tell me, the Killarney Mountain Lodge has an absolute abundance of history. Tell us about it. Well, it was originally built in 1940 um, by the Freehoff Company uh, out of Detroit. And uh, it was originally operated as a retreat for their clients and guests. Uh, a place for them to provide unique experiences uh, in the wilderness. Um, it was only accessible by boat or by plane at that time. Uh, 1962, the uh, lodge was actually bought by the East family, and at that time they built a road connecting it to the rest of the world. Uh, our current owner purchased the property in 2015, uh, and he remains committed to uh, providing uh, outstanding, unique experiences uh, for all of our guests. Uh, and in the process, we're currently expanding our offerings at the resort. You just want to bring more people to you. Bring more people in, absolutely. Tell me about some of the other amenities you have besides the inn. So we have a beautiful pool overlooking the channel, and it's quite often you'll find 100-foot uh, yachts going through the channel, so it's quite a unique experience. Uh, we have a sauna, we have a fire pit for our guests, um, we have a full sailing program, which is pretty unique to our property. Um, and what's really cool is we have a, a carousel lounge, which is kind of a throwback to the 50s. So at nighttime, that's where everyone hangs out. There'll be live music, everyone's having a beverage. Um, so it's a pretty unique uh, space. So you can be a part of the party or just chill out by the fire. When I asked you about any special or memorable moments at the lodge, you didn't even think about the helicopter arrivals. It's funny, we get used to it. Um, planes and helicopters flying in. Um, yeah, we, uh, we have a narrow drum right out front of our property and uh, it's quite often we'll find people flying in on their helicopters and planes um, and we had a wedding where uh, the bride and groom flew in on their helicopter, uh, quite the entrance uh, to say the least, so it's, uh, it's pretty neat to have that on property. That would blow the guest away. Yes, yeah, have to hang on to the hat. Hang absolutely. on to the hat. Mm -hmm. That's a nice throwback to the history, people are still arriving by plane or by boat. Yeah. Take us through the process of when a bride and groom comes to you. Who is their first point of contact? So our first point of contact is our on-site sales manager. Um, they'll tour you around uh, with the general manager and the executive chef. Um, we do offer our wedding packages, but we like to cater to uh, what you are really looking for. Um, so we can create unique experiences based on what you're looking for specifically. So each bride is different and they all need a different package, so you don't mind people pulling from the different packages you offer? Not at all. Uh, we always say challenge us. Um, we have a silver, a gold, and a platinum package, um, but we can cater to your specific needs. Um, in fact, we enjoy doing that, um, and we haven't let anyone down yet. As we said before, it takes a whole staff or a mini army to pull off a wedding. Tell me a little bit about your staff. We are very lucky that we have the staff we have. Um, I've been in the business for 20 years now, and this is the best team I've ever worked with. Uh, they're hardworking, dedicated, and we all care about only one thing, which is providing memorable experiences for our guests, and that's what we do. Do you find that people just fall in love with your lodge and they want to stay longer? What's the average stay there? Well, so uh, most of our guests stay two to three nights, but uh, we have an interesting story we like to tell. We had a, a retired couple come in, and they came in their boat. They had no intentions of staying overnight. They ended up staying for three weeks. Um, so that kind of says it all. It's, it's just a beautiful place. It's hard to put into words, but once you're there, you never want to leave. Yeah, what a compliment. Now, because your lodge has such a different look, are people going to play off that? Are they going to use it as a theme? A lot of times we find people bring the outside inside. Um, with that being said, the building uh, was built so long ago that it has such a nice rustic feel. Um, but the building is also neutral, so if you want to do something more extra extravagant, we can do that as well for you. Um, so we range from rustic to fancy, whatever you prefer. Now for couples that just missed your open house, are you planning on having another one? Absolutely. So that was the first one we've ever done. It was extremely successful. We had over 100 people come through the building and we quoted out nine weddings. Um, so, you know, going back on it, it's hard to describe the place. It's just so unique. So you have to come see it yourself. 
Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. A photo is good, but actually seeing it, feeling it, walking around has got to be the way to do it. Absolutely. And you're actually working on a new building, a place that can hold three or 400 people for an event. That's exciting, share with me about that. Thank you for mentioning that. So yes, it's very exciting. It's a $15 million project. Uh, currently, it's the largest log structure being built anywhere in the world. Uh, newly named the Canada House. Uh, we'll be able to host up to 300 people uh, in that one space. Uh, and actually, there'll also be a steakhouse in the building, which is pretty neat too. Um, there'll be a 40-foot fireplace as a feature in the conference room. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. And you're actually getting booked up already, aren't you? We are, yes. We've actually quoted out for weddings as far ahead as 2022. So if you're going to book, make sure you book early. Well, I want to thank you so much, Brenda, for coming out here, driving all the way out, and sharing with me about your lodge. Thank you for having me. Now you can go to the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for the Killarney Mountain Lodge, so you can book for your special day. How would you like to have a DG, a part of your events that knows all the behind the scenes? I now get to talk to Colin from Feedback Event Services. Colin, can you please share with us about your company and how it has evolved over the 20 years? I started this business in college and I had always a big interest in music and I was always the guy who used to take his family's stereo apart and play the parties in people's backyards. So as I was looking for a job, uh, something that I could do to help maintain my financial status at school, uh, I was able to make the contacts to get into playing music at events. And uh, my high school, actually, the auditorium was used for events as well. So I was trained to run the soundboard and the lighting board and do all of the behind the scenes for events. And some events needed music played. They'd have a party afterwards. So because I had the stereo, I was the guy to play the music. And while I was in college, that interest grew. So obviously, we started getting more professional equipment. We started attracting friends who were interested in music. Uh, sometimes I did events where I needed help. So I'd get people to come. And over the years of college, developed into a team of about 12 people who are all doing it to get through school, but all people that really enjoyed music. Do you think because you have your wedding certification that really helps the brides and grooms on the day of? So I found that the more we were involved in the wedding, the more value we created for ourselves, not just as a company, but as an industry in general. So there was a decision to learn more about what the bride and groom had to do to plan for their wedding and see where we could help them as far as supporting them with the entertainment services. So if it came from cocktail music and what type of music was played and how to create the atmosphere, right to what would we do as an MC or how could we coach their MC so that the flow stayed smooth and that everything stayed on track. Um, I literally tell every couple, if everyone's in the mood to party at 9.30, it's an easy job for us. So that was part of my decision to assist as much as I could. The other thing is, I think it's very important to speak the language of other people at an event. It's harder to coordinate yourself with the photographer, videographer, wedding planner if you don't really know their world. So part of the reason I took the wedding planning certification was to understand the priorities of everyone else at the wedding so that we could assist in, in their success as well. You can give the best because you know all the behind the scenes. Well, for sure, we can speak the language. Could you say that your role is kind of a coach for the couples? Definitely, I want the bride and groom to understand what the experience is going to be like at their wedding. It is very overwhelming uh, and I have always told couples that they are still the host of a dinner party. So I want them to still have that role without looking at a schedule, without having to tell people what to do. So whatever we can do either as the DJ or as the MC to relieve some of that pressure from them, we want to do that. And uh, if that comes to helping plan the itinerary, if that comes to giving them situations, anecdotes, to give them a plan B or other options, or just to help make them understand that going with the flow throughout the night is going to make them happier instead of stressed, we try to provide that support before the day comes. Tell me a little bit about your team members and how you find the right DJ for the couple. Well, first of all, I have always made sure to have people in my circle that enjoy music and enjoy entertaining as much as I do. I think that's one of the key reasons why we draw couples to, to us. Uh, we genuinely love to play music. We genuinely love to be at a party that is going well. We don't need to be the center of the party, but we just want to be part of the success. So as, over the years, I've met people with those same goals. And uh, we found a strength in working together instead of working against each other. 
So when it comes to choosing the right DJ, we do a lot of planning in advance and we'll coordinate the music that they like to have. We coordinate their likes as far as the atmosphere they want to create, even personal interests. And all of that information will then give me an idea of who would fit into that mold correctly. And we want a DJ who feels natural in an environment and not a DJ who's going to be struggling through a process just because they're not familiar with a certain type of music, for instance. So I find that if I were to assign someone in advance of learning all that information, they might not be the right person for that wedding. And it's harder to tell a bride halfway through the planning process that, you know what, I have somebody better in mind than it is actually to halfway through the planning process say, hey, this is the exact person that would be right for your wedding. How far in advance does a couple meet the DJ for their wedding day? We try and coordinate uh, about uh, 30 to 60 days in advance to make the introduction. Um, what I want to do is make sure that all the planning has been done before they meet the DJ. So that opportunity is really to get to know each other and to review everything instead of going through the planning process. Now some couples figure out everything very early and if you're ready six months in advance then why not meet your DJ then. Some couples have a lot on their plate and it takes them till the very last minute to really put their, their planning in, in place. So I will always have DJs that are in line, ready to go, and often even just meeting the couple before they book, I already have somebody in mind. But again, I want to make sure that it is the right person when they meet them. How does Feedback Event Services stop from having a cookie cutter wedding? We enjoy doing weddings, and we want every wedding to be unique for us as well, not just for the couple, because it keeps us excited it keeps everything fresh for us as an entertainer. And the best way to do that is to try and make every wedding as different as possible. I always tell every couple, imagine that your guests are going to two or three other weddings for the summer, and what can we do that they remember yours over the others? Uh, so whether, whether it's picking songs that have, reflect your personality, whether you have a theme of, a, of a, something that is a, a personal interest to you, if you love movies, we could play movie, movie themes. If you love uh, sports, we could play sports themes. Let's try and make this really reflect who you are on top of the fact that it's a joyous occasion. What feedback has your company received? Well, the biggest thing is that uh, we get a lot of people from the entertainment industry that book us to do their weddings. We get wedding planners that book us, we get other DJs that book us, we get performers that book us, and the reason is is that we really just have a genuine interest in making a, a great party. Um, we are not there to steal the show. We're there to fulfill whatever role that the couple would like us to fill. Some weddings, we are the host. Sometimes we're there just to support their MC or we're there to create the environment. And again, anytime that we've done our job well, people are gonna ask, who was your DJ? And that's really what we wanna do. Word of mouth and referral is really the biggest compliment, isn't it? And I'd say it's probably the majority of how we meet couples in the first place. What is something you feel couples should know about hiring you for their wedding day? I want every couple to know that we're just easygoing people. We're easygoing people that love parties, that love music, and they can call us for as much assistance as they need, or we will step back and let them do as much as they want. Uh, we, we don't have a mold that they need to fill. We have experience that we like to share, and we just like to everyone to know in advance the pros and cons to all the options that they have, because you really only have one chance to make it right. And you want to make it right. You want it so memorable. Of course. I mean, I'd rather people call me because they had a great time at a party than to be looking at me up in a classifieds ad. Tell me about the packages or what type of events you've already hosted. To be honest, I'm the anti-package guy. And I've worked so many years with other DJ companies that had packages. And one of the biggest struggles was couples trying to figure out whose package is going to really fulfill their needs or their wishes. So as I branched out, I decided, why don't we make ourselves work for the couples? So I listen to what they need, and sometimes they just need a DJ. Sometimes they just want someone to come and play the best music. Sometimes they need a DJ and an MC, or they need an MC that's just gonna work with a friend or family that are gonna speak for them. Uh, but sometimes we come in and we do the whole show. We provide speakers, we provide lights, the dry ice, the strobes, the lasers, the decor lighting. Uh, we've transformed venues uh, from residences. We've gone to facilities that are not designed for events and been able to put in everything that you need to turn it into a successful event venue. Worked so, your magic. Yeah, so it's the range that we can provide, I think is the biggest thing. 
Again, Colin, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for having me, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the new couples. Like he said, he's looking forward to meeting all the new couples, so go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on the link for Feedback Event Services. I now have the pleasure of introducing you to Shannon, where she's going to show us some beautiful dresses from the gown and let you know how you can have an amazing day shopping at her boutique. Shannon, thank you so much for being here in studio. Thank you so much for having me. I want to jump right into it. I want you to tell me how the gown, how it's different than shopping at other places. Shopping at the gown is actually a really cozy, fun experience. As soon as our brides arrive, they have slipper service. They have a, their choice of free refreshments and a beautiful private suite for them and all of their guests. Mm, and you have armchair shopping, what's that? Yes, we do. Armchair shopping basically is once the bride is in her suite, our consultant will ask her all about her wedding, her vision, what she likes in a dress. Then we let her stay there, enjoy her refreshments, catch up with all of her girls, and then we go and pull all the dresses for her. We all know that picking out a dress is a big part of the day, big deal. People are coming in from all over. How do you accommodate people for that? Our suites are actually different sizes, so you can have anywhere from four guests to 13 guests comfortably in the suite. We also welcome children and gentlemen, which aren't always welcome at other bridal salons. So that's really welcoming. That's everybody can show up and be a part of the day. Yes. A lot of brides think that picking out their dress should be fun and it should be magical, but it's not always the case, is it? How is your staff trained for that? Well, actually, a lot of brides come in with a little bit of anxiety. They might be a little bit nervous. She may not be a dress girl. She may be trying to lose that last couple of pounds and doesn't really feel comfortable trying on dresses just yet. But fortunately, all of our girls with the private suites have the opportunity to just try it on, be alone with themselves in the dress, and only show their party when they feel comfortable in a gown. That's right. You said that even in the private suite, there's a separate area as yeah, well. Yeah, that's correct, yes. And there's a mirror in there as well for the bride so she can have a look. If she's feeling good about it, she can come out, but if not, no pressure. We just go on to the next one. What feedback do you receive about your store, not just from the brides, but from the mothers or the other guests? Actually, in the seven years we've been in business, we've been getting fantastic feedback and the gown has had growth every single year. We've actually had a couple of consultants who have gotten flowers sent to them by their brides because they were so happy with the service. Um, and most brides are just really, really thankful for making it such a relaxing and happy experience for them and their family. What a compliment. Like everything else, fashion is ever changing. So how do you keep your dresses up to date? So the fashion trends change very quickly in bridal, just like all other fashion. We've actually teamed up with designers that have two collections a year. So that way we get to buy twice a year, which means we have current um, inventory all the time. In the seven years that you've been selling dresses, what's one of the key things that you've learned? Wow, I've learned that every bride is totally different, has completely different expectations, and we try to rise to the challenge. Not just keeping fashion up to date, you have to keep your website up to date. That's how people shop nowadays. How do you do that? Well, actually, I have a fantastic staff who are very computer savvy. And as our dresses are ordered, we put online that these are things that are going to be coming soon. So brides can get tantalized by what's on, the, on its way. And then once the dresses arrive in store, it goes in now arrived. So new arrivals are up within a day of them arriving in our store. And speaking of arrival, what have you brought here today? <laughs> Actually, I've got two fantastic, beautiful dresses, two totally different looks. The first dress here, it's like an A-line dress. It's got a nice frothy bottom, very lightweight with the tulle, and the beautiful illusion top, which is very, very on trend right now, very, very popular. Um, on the top, and then we've got a little bit of beading to give that little sparkle as the bride goes down the aisle. Mm. And the second one is a little bit different. Yes, it is. This one has a crepe bottom, which is very, very clean look, very much like Meghan Markle wore. Um, but this one we've actually teamed up with the lace, a little bit of illusion here on the bust line, so a little illusion to sexy, as well as on the side cutouts. And then we have the beautiful spaghetti straps at the back and lovely strap detail. Two different but absolutely gorgeous dresses. Thank you. So you give a title to women that purchase gowns from you. How do they get that title and what does it entitle them to? A gown girl is somebody who has purchased their wedding dress at the gown. And once they become a gown girl, they are entitled to have discounts. They also get a really fun little celebration once they do say yes to their dress with some photo ops, which is really fun. And then their party is also entitled to some additional discounts if they purchase with us. Wonderful. That's exciting. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing your gowns and your enthusiasm about your store. Thank you so much for having me. Shannon and her team are waiting to make you a gown girl so you can go to the Showcase Wedding website and click on their link to make an appointment. Would you like to have the luxury of having a beauty team come to you on your special day? The purple box has everything you need. 
Sasha, can you give me a little background on you and how long you've been in the beauty business? For sure. I've been in the beauty business for over eight years. I have a corporate finance background, but my grandmother was a, a cosmetologist for Clinique and Revlon for many years, so it runs in my blood. You've always been around all the products? I've always been around all of it, and I did it for fun before I went to school and learned how to do it professionally. And how did the Purple Box Mobile come about? The, the Purple Box came about due to uh, a necessity in the market for a truly mobile beauty bar where we come to the client's home and perform all the beauty services, especially on the wedding day. Tell me about those services. What do you offer? What are you doing there? Ah, we have a lot of fun. First and foremost, we make our brides very relaxed and have a good time. Uh, we specialize in airbrush makeup and we also provide hair services as well. well. Why would you say personally you prefer airbrush makeup over the regular? Uh, airbrush makeup is flawless. It lasts up to eight hours, which is perfect for the wedding day. Uh, you can also get it waterproof if you like, if you're a tearful bride. So it really settles into the skin. It's applied with air and it's very light and comfortable and flawless. Soft glam is something that we just saw on Megan for the royal wedding. Explain that look to us, please. Sure. A lot of people thought that Princess Megan was not wearing any makeup, but she was wearing some makeup, but it was tastefully done in a light, soft glam application. So you look like you're covered, but it's not overdone and high glam and extra. Is this a look you usually ask for for brides? Yes, definitely. I get asked a lot to do the natural soft glam look. They're not comfortable wearing a lot of makeup, so they don't want to not look like themselves on their wedding day. What if you have a bride that wants to go high glam? Do you enjoy making those looks as well? Definitely. We love doing a high glam look for brides that are used to wearing a lot of makeup. It gives them a nice, refreshed, different look. Um, and it, it can be smoky, but still not overdone, but still gorgeous. What advice do you have for brides looking for a makeup artist for their day? They should definitely look at the their Instagram, their website, look at their portfolio, make sure it's something that suits them. If you're a natural bride and you want a natural look, then don't necessarily choose a makeup artist that does a, a high glam look because it may not suit what you want. Would you say that a trial is just as important to you as the bride? A trial is definitely important for makeup and hair. I recommend that all our brides do that. It gives them a chance to see the makeup on camera. It gives them the chance to feel comfortable with themselves, not just on the wedding day. And then it gives us a chance to play around and see what suits them. Sometimes what you think is going to suit you isn't necessarily the best look for you. So it gives us a good chance to, to really experiment, if you will. And you get to know your bride as well. Yes, definitely. And they get to know the artist. It gives us a chance to really get to know one another before their wedding day so you can put them at ease. And how many looks do you usually try on a trial day? On a trial day for hair, we try the look that they bring us the picture, and then we send them on their way with a different look. So if they're going to their engagement photos or their bridal shower, they're not having the wedding day look. And for makeup, we, we tend to do one look, and sometimes we just change it up a little bit on the wedding day, go a little more smoky or just a little more definition if they like on that day. Do you suggest they bring your friend with them or make it their own personal time? Either way, if you'd like to bring a friend or your mom or your maid of honor, that would be fine. Uh, I recently did a trial where the client brought her fiance and he was her best critic, so she enjoyed having him there with her. Definitely, it makes it special for both of for them. For both of them, definitely, yeah. And what else do you want brides to know about the Purple Box Mobile Beauty Bar? Yes, definitely. I am, uh, we're very relaxed. We love having a good time with our clients. We want them to feel special and great on their wedding day. We'd like our couples to know that we offer great services. We come to their home. We make them feel relaxed, especially weddings are very stressful on our brides. So we want them to have a comfortable environment where they can just let their hair down, have a good time and go get married. Sasha, this is an amazing idea. I'm so glad that you brought it to Canada. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. It's been an amazing adventure creating this. I wish you success in the future. Oh, thank you so much. If you're looking for a new way to get pampered and you want her coming to you on your special day, go to the Showcase Winning website and click on her link. So hi, my name is Dory. I work for myself at Infocus by Dory, and I've been doing this for about 15 years. So today we're doing a shoot for Showcase Wedding and we're actually here at the Ritz-Carlton. So as you can see, this is a pretty impressive room. So we started off today in the Oval Room. Our goal today was to capture um, some wedding dresses and then some evening wear as well. So this room was actually pretty good. It has a pretty good presence. And we wanted to capture the beauty of the chandelier that's right above me as well, the entrance, uh, everything that's behind me and around me. 
So I try to see if I can capture the mood of this room and to really single out that feeling with a wedding dress, you know, that feeling of just twirling around, being happy. Uh, we had a gorgeous flower, flower girl as well here today. Um, it was adorable shooting with her as well, with Maya. Uh, so we have a couple of pictures with her as well. We set up a table shot, did some stuff there. Uh, we've done a couple shots also by the tea room. So the tea room obviously has a lot of character. So we try to do some fashion shots there, some conversations between a bride and a flower girl, which is always beautiful to see. Uh, we worked as well as uh, some staircase shots. One of my favorite places actually was the dining room actually. Uh, dining room has a gorgeous fireplace, gorgeous pieces. Uh, there's a wall there with uh, Marilyn Monroe with a couple of shots of her. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Tried a technique uh, that I've seen actually that's pretty cool. So try that there. And that gives the illusion or the feeling of a bride walking through, but yet still keeps that anonymity so that anyone watching it can basically imagine or picture themselves in there. Uh, so the gowns that were used today were very classy, very elegant. Uh, just perfect match for the Ritz, I find. And then we also used one of the master suites or the bridal suites, actually, and did a couple of shots there too. Beautiful rooms, uh, lots of space to be used. And uh, what I really liked about those rooms is the lighting. So I took advantage of that and wanted to use that lighting just coming right in and then having her stand there with a beautiful evening gown. Uh, but that, uh, that room, those shots uh, were, were a lot of fun. We try to get a bit creative too with the bathtub too and do some funky shots, a bit more Vogue in there. So that was a lot of fun. Um, so that was for the master suites, uh, did a couple shots there. And the staircase, uh, some shots just outdoors actually. Uh, the outdoor shots are pretty fun. It's, uh, I wanted to convey that feeling of freedom, that feeling of carelessness, of care, being carefree actually. And that's just to run out, you know, just live that dream of your wedding day, live that dream of being a princess. So that's what I try to capture as much as I could on the way out of this room. So that was actually pretty, um, pretty beautiful, pretty good. For, if, I, if I were to go back and the shots that I'm looking at the most, I'm looking forward to working the most, my favorite shots of the day, I would have to say one in the oval room. I really like the candelabra as the displays they have on the wall. So there was this one shot I did uh, between the bride and the flower girl, and they were framed just perfectly well framed with the candelabra. Uh, there was also a couple of makeup shots. Uh, up in the grand suite, the shot by the window with the light coming in and the evening gown is one of my favorites. And I would say one of the carefree shots running out of the oval, uh, oval room is actually another one that I really like. So those shots I think are my top ones. Well, I also want to thank Showcase Wedding and the Ritz Carlton for letting us use this gorgeous venue. Absolutely a dream to shoot in. Lots of gorgeous spaces, perfect for a photographer to come here. Uh, and obviously to giving us, uh, for giving us the opportunity to come up with a perfect shot for the cover of the magazine. So thank you very much again. And now off back to my studio to process these images. I can't wait for you to see them and especially to see the cover of the magazine. Thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of Showcase Wedding. I am your host, Rebecca Martel. In today's episode, I want to thank the One King West Hotel for hosting us, Gina's Closet for some of her beautiful gowns, and all of our other guests. If you would like to be featured on one of our upcoming episodes, you can contact us through the Showcase Wedding website, Facebook, or Instagram. Until then, to all of the newly engaged brides and grooms, we want to wish you congratulations, felicitations, mazel tov.